Locomotion, Locomotion Station. Locomotion, Locomotion Station. We're here to learn, have fun and play at Locomotion Station. It's always so wonderful. Day. Hello, friends at home. Welcome back to Locomotion Station. It's so good to see you today. My name is Miss Linnell. I'm the conductor and teacher here at Locomotion Station. And we're going to have a really great show about all the holidays that come in November and December. Some very exciting holidays. And we have with us, as always, Engineer Chris. Can we all say hello to Engineer Chris? Are you ready? Hello, Engineer Chris. Hello, everybody. Hello, Engineer Chris. I am the railroad man. I drive the train along. They roll from goal to goal, the whistle blows her song. Around each turn, more things we learn, new lessons every day. When we pull into each station, all across the nation, a child's imagination leads the way. Thanks, Engineer Chris. <laughs> yeah, good man. <laughs> And we have with us also some children who are our class today and going to help us with all our activities. And they live right here in Austin, Texas. So we're going to meet them right now. Hi, what's your name? Jeremiah. Jeremiah, how old are you? Five. Five. Do you have a favorite holiday? Uh -huh. Which one is it? Uh, Christmas. Christmas. And what's your name? Serenity. Serenity, how old are you? Six. Six. Do you have a favorite holiday? What is it? Easter. Easter. That's a good one. Hi. What's your name? I love you. Destiny. Destiny. How old are you, Destiny? Five. Five. And what's your favorite holiday? Easter. Easter as well. Yeah, you're both five. Hey. And who do we have over here at this table? What's your name? Ava. Ava. How old are you? Four and a half. Four and a half. What's your favorite holiday? Four and a half. Christmas. And right here, what's your name? Antonio. Antonio, how old are you? Five. Five. And what's your favorite holiday? Santa. Santa. The, so Christmas? No. And you like the Santa and the snow for Christmas? Yeah. Okay. Hi, what's your name? Hi. And Diara, are you Diara? And how old are you? Three. Three? Yeah. Do you have a favorite holiday? Yeah. What do you like? Me. Yeah? You like Christmas too? Our show is all about holidays in November and December. So we are going to talk first about the holidays in November. And on November 11th is a holiday called Veterans Day. Does anyone know what a veteran is? Veterans are people who have served in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, or Coast Guard. Okay, it's a day where we say thank you to them. So we are going to, when we say the pledge this morning, we're going to be thinking about our veterans saying thank you and appreciate the fact that they have served and protected our country. Let's get our flags. We have the Texas flag and we have the American flag. So Jeremiah, you want to hold that one and Serenity since you're right there. And the rest of us are going to stand up and place our right hand over our heart. So let's find our right hand friends at home, right there, right over your heart. And then we're going to look at the flag. Uh -huh, this hand, that's correct, Ava. Antonio, can we see your right hand? And Diara, would you stand up with us? Okay, right over your heart. And um, Serenity, could you stand up with that flag? There you go, we wanna be respectful. I'm gonna remove my hat. And American Pledge first. Ready, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now the Texas pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and, and indivisible. indivisible. Great. Okay. Engineer Chris has a special song in honor of Veterans Day that he is going to sing to us. The parade 
trade moves along and the people throng as the strains of the song grows loud. And the louder it grows, the more everyone knows that the marching band's close and the heart grows proud. There's a thrill they bring as the cymbals ring for there's hardly a thing more grand than the majorette with curls, the baton she twirls, and the boys and the girls in the band. How I love a parade and the memories made when the bugle brigade goes by. What a thrilling sight when they all dress right and their colors so bright dazzle every eye and my heart's beating fast as my gaze is cast past those marching past the stand and the majorette with curls the baton she twirls and the boys and the girls in the band it's the fourth of july and the colors fly as we honor the red white and blue it's the flag we wave for the fallen brave and the lives that they gave to save me and you for they paid the price and their sacrifice purchased freedom for all this great land and the majorette with curls the baton she twirls and the boys and the girls and the girls and the girls the boys and the girls in the band oh yay give me a hand that was beautiful what a beautiful tribute for vet for veterans day wonderful all right well next holiday in november is thanksgiving so we'll count down to the fourth thursday in thanksgiving the date changes every year but um, what do we do on Thanksgiving? Mm, eat turkey. Eat turkey. That's, that's really turkey. the most common thing we think about. Friends at home, what do you eat on Thanksgiving? Can you think of something you eat? Yeah. That, that we celebrate Thanksgiving. Yes, we give thanks for our families and everything that we have, right? All right. So we're going to play, somebody said eat turkey, turkey is what we think about at Thanksgiving. We're going to play a game called Gobble Gobble. So we have a basket, you're going to draw a card, whatever's on the card, you're going to say the name of the letter. If you need help, we can help you, okay, if you're not sure of the letter. And then hold it out to the friends at home so they can see it. And then if you get a card that says Gobble Gobble, we all get to go Gobble 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 and eat turkeys, all right? So let's go, whoa, sorry. <laughs> Okay, Diara, can you pick that card right there? Oops, you got two. What letter do you have? Do you know what that is? That's the letter I. Can everybody say I? I. I. Friends at home, I? Okay, so she gets to keep that. Okay, would you choose a card and see what you get? What's that? G. Can you show friends at home the G? G. You get to keep that one. Okay. Okay, what letter did you get? F. Can you show friends at home? Let's hold it way up high. All right, everybody say F. F. Okay. You want to pick a card? What'd you get? Turkey. Oh, gobble, 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 gobble. Everybody gobble, 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 gobble. I can say it really fast. Okay, she gets the gobble, gobble, gobble. All right, so what letter's coming up next, do you think? E. E. Can you show friends at home so they can practice E? I got E. Oh, you have E in your name. Wow. Yes. E is a pretty common letter. It's a vowel, right? two E's. Okay, Jeremiah's got, he got two. Okay. What, do you know that letter? Friends at home? Any guesses? D. 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 Everybody say D. D. Okay. D. 
My turn. All right, very, very good, guys. Let's put the letters back in. Well, let's move on to the month of December. So I'm going to take November down. <clears throat> and here is the word December. Now, there are three holidays in December that we're going to talk about. And one of them is um, Hanukkah. And that changes every year. Sometimes it even starts in November. But it is eight days, okay, that they celebrate. And we have Kwanzaa, which starts on the 26th of December and, and it goes for seven days. And Christmas, here's a little Christmas tree, is the 25th of December. So these are some symbols of these holidays. The, the Christmas tree for Christmas. We have the menorah. Can you say menorah? Menorah for um, Hanukkah. And this is called a kinara for Kwanzaa. All right. Well, now let's just get up and move around. I think we need to get some energy going. Friends at home, you can get up and move, play this game with us. Let's go out in front here so we have some room to be Santa's reindeer. All right, so do you know five little monkeys jumping on the bed? Yeah. Well, this is going to be six little reindeer pulling Santa's sled because there are six of you, all right? So we are going to say, you want to be our first reindeer that bumps their head? Okay. Six little reindeer pulling Santa's sled. One fell down and bumped his head. The elves called Santa and Santa said, can one, two, three, four, five, five little reindeer pull Santa's sled? Let's see. Five little reindeer pulling Santa's sled. Oh, this one fell down and bumped his head. At the elves called Santa and Santa said, can, how many are left? Four. Four. Can four little reindeer pull Santa's sled? Let's see. Four little reindeer pulling Santa's sled. One fell down and bumped her head. The Santa called the elves and the elves said, can, how many are left? Three. Three little reindeer. These three, because she's still in. Three little reindeer pull Santa's sled. Three little reindeer pulling Santa's sled. Can you pretend? One fell down and bumped her head. The elves called Santa and Santa said, how many are left? Two. One, two. Can two little reindeer pull Santa's sled? Two little reindeer pulling Santa's sled. One fell down and bumped her head. The elves called Santa and Santa said, can one little reindeer pull Santa's sled? Let's see, <laughs> one little reindeer pulled Santa's sled. She fell down and bumped her head. The elves called Santa and Santa said, call Rudolph. <laughs> Rudolph's going to take over, right? <laughs> All right. Hey, I think it's time to go to the story tree because Engineer Chris has some special music and a book for us. So let's let's pretend we're the reindeer. Let's go back to being the reindeer and follow me. No, not yet. you got to follow me. It's a long journey to the story tree. So let's ask Engineer Chris to please play. Okay, ready? Engineer Chris, please play. <laughs> So come with us and fly along, and fly along, and fly along. So come with us and fly along to the story tree today. We are Santa's reindeer, the reindeer, the reindeer. We are Santa's reindeer flying to the story tree today. Oh, finally. Well, here we are at the story tree, and we're going to sit right here. So can you be good listeners? Yes. And Engineer Chris is going to entertain us with a song that he wrote in a reading of Twas the Night Before Christmas. This is my favorite story of all time, I think. I used to read this to my little kids when they were little kids. Oops, okay. <laughs> Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. 
The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. <laughs> when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, now Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. He, he wasn't there yet. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. He went up the chimney. In just a minute, and then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye, of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread, nothing to be afraid of. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, then filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. And I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Oh, you do a good that too, didn't yeah. <laughs> Now, that was my favorite Christmas story. And this is my favorite Christmas song. I wrote this to sing to my kids. And I'm still singing it. Presents wrapped in ribbons bright, the tree aglow with colored light. Houses all dressed up at night. Tell you kids, it's quite a sight how I've got Christmas on my mind. There's laughter everywhere you go. Every door has this mistletoe. 
Sleigh bells ringing through the snow Feels so good now, don't you know That I've got Christmas on my mind Rudolph with his nose a-gleaming Through the Christmas sky it's streaming Santa's coming, we'll be jolly Deck the halls with boughs of holly Candy canes and Christmas toys For all good little girls and boys Everywhere I hear the noise Children filled with Christmas joys And i got Christmas on my mind I can almost hear his sleigh Those bells that jingle all the way The happy sounds of Christmas Day I love to hear those children play When I've got Christmas on my mind Then while all the kids are sleeping down the chimney he comes creeping Bringing toys and candy cane deer Hey, I think I hear those reindeer How I wonder what he'll bring Ah, how this season makes me sing When I hear those sleigh bells ring I just can't think of anything but I've got Christmas on my Santa Claus is coming too I've got Christmas on my mind Wow. Right. Isn't that a great song? You like that? Oh, and I got Christmas on my mind. How about you? You thinking about Christmas all the time? Yeah, yeah me too. Candy candy. Yeah, Delicious I can't sleep. wait. I can't wait. <laughs> well, I, I think it's go time to fly back, reindeer, to the classroom. So let's go. Off Here we, we go. go flying. Thank you so much, Engineer Chris. My pleasure. We are going to do an activity using some candles because they all the holidays in uh, December have candles, right? Kwanzaa and Hanukkah, and at Christmas we use candles as well. So we're going to use some some candles to do a reading activity. And what we have is three uh, candle holders made out of um, toilet paper tubes, and then we have some letters on popsicle sticks. And so we are going to put a let spell a word here. Yeah. I like that too. A. N. So let's see what this word is. M. A. N. What's that word? Man. Yes. Did you sound that out at home, friends? What happens if we change? We're going to change the N to a T. Let's sound it out now. M. A. T. Matt. Okay. Let's change the final or last letter again to a P. Let's see what letter we have, uh, word we have now. M -a -p map. Okay. Well, let's set up another word. We're going to set up S I T. Okay. Let's sound that out. S it. Sit. Okay, now we're going to change the first letter. Let's take away the S and put an H and see what happens. Whoop. <laughs> what happens is it falls over. Okay. It hit. Good. What happens if we change the first letter again to an F? Let's try that. It fit. Good. Let's change now. Let's do this. I'm going to do T-I-P. Okay. Let's see. What's that word? Tip. Tip. Okay. Now I'm going to change the vowel right here. Let's see what we have now. T-O-P. Top. Let's change the Vowel again. T -ap. Tap. Oh, now watch this magic trick. We're going to change the, we're going to switch the first and last letter. And now it says P at. Pat. We went from tap to Pat. So there's a lot of different words you could make with these if you do something like this at home, right? Yeah. Okay, very good reading and sounding out. Friends at home, you did a great job too. All right, let's go back and have a snack. Are you ready for a snack? Yeah, I'm getting kind of hungry. We're going to have a menorah snack. I know during the holidays we eat a lot of sugar, but here's a chance to make a healthy snack. And so 
the menorah has nine candles, so this is just a banana cut in half, and I put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pretzels. So you're gonna make your menorah, and friends at home, this is something you can make too. All right, and while you are making and counting those, I'm going to say happy birthday to some friends at home who have recently had birthdays. We have Diego, who is five, Asher turned one year old, Estrelita is nine, Michaela is five years old, Christiana is five years old, Savannah is also five, and Noah is also five years old. We have Paisley who is six, and Leonora who is seven, Teak is four years old, here's Jaden who's 11, and John Paul who is eight, Leo is seven years old, Emma is three, Allison is six years old, Carmen is six years old. We have Miko who is seven, and Caitlin who is seven. Bradley is five years old. Jack is six years old. Maxwell turned four. Happy birthday, Reuben, he's four. And here's Rise who is seven. Fernando is six. Violet is seven years old. Happy birthday, Jackson, he's six. Timothy is five years old. Jade turned six years old. Sunny is three years old. Here's Josie, she's two. And Benjamin turned three years old. Tenzin is two years old. And here's Tucker, who is six. And Eowyn, Corey, and Joshua are all nine years old. Here's Ileana, who is five. And Destiny, who turned eight years old. Alejandra is five. And Alina is four years old. Aria is two years old. Joaquin is seven. And Sarah is one. Delaney is five years old, and Sam turned four. Happy birthday to all these friends at home. Hi. Well, you have been a great class today, and it's been fun celebrating the holidays with you. Uh, let's say thank you to Engineer Chris. And well, I think it's time for recess, though. We can leave our snacks here and eat them later. So let's go to recess on the inflatables. How about that? So. Friends at home, we will see you next time here at Locomotion Station. Okay, so let's Thank go. You. Thank you. You've been done a wonderful job. I am the railroad man. I love each mile of track. Along we go through rain and snow, never looking back. Up hills we climb, we love the time we spend with you each day. Where we'll reach our destination, locomotion station, where a child's imagination leads the way. Bye, everybody. Bye.